demand environment is very constructive for us. Through uh, April of this year, retail was up in the mid 40%. So really, really strong. And, and our effort he really is on getting production as, as efficient as we possibly can to try and meet that demand, not only the retail demand, but also try and backfill some of the really low uh, pipeline in the field. But even with our current production rates, we expect that to take probably more than two years. So if I wanted to come in and buy a Boston Whaler or one of your other brands, um, how long would I wait? Uh, it would depend on the model. You know, a lot of people have a boat already. They're prepared to wait. If it was one of the larger ones, it could be uh, significantly into next year. But you, uh, you might get some of the smaller ones a little earlier than that. A little earlier than that. And so how are your revenues tracking compared with last year or compared maybe more, more importantly with 2019? Where do you stand? Uh, we, we're continuing to be very strong. Uh, with the market environment so strong and our divisions all working really well, obviously our engine business is now more than 45% of the U.S. market. So uh, market share gains are huge. So I would say our revenues are very strong. In the first quarter, our revenues were up more than 40%. And we're continuing to see uh, a lot of strength in Q2. Obviously, the comps in Q2 are a little bit different because Q2 last year was one that was heavily hit by the first wave of COVID. But we, we see really strong uh, revenue growth uh, through the balance of the year. Back to the question of the backlog of orders, which, as I said, is a, is a good problem to have. Um, is, it, is it because demand is so high? Is it because there are parts shortages and, and uh, uh, supply chain issues there? Is it because the labor is hard to get? Or is it a combination of all three? Well, I would say we're dealing with the supply chain disruptions extremely well. We expect mm -hmm. to meet our production forecast for this year. And although, as you mentioned, labor is tight, we're being very creative in our various uh, areas to get the labor we need. So I think we're producing very efficiently and very effectively, and we're adding capacity to try and help uh, alleviate that, uh, that backlog issue. But uh, so really, this is created by the fact that production was disrupted last year. And so we ended last year with unusually low inventory levels. Mm -hmm. And we're obviously a very seasonal business, so we're producing pretty constantly through the year. Uh, but we need inventory to, to meet the needs of the peak selling season, which mm -hmm. is really now for the northern markets. So this is more about an inventory hole that was created last year in combination with just tremendous levels of retail demand. All that said, we're producing as much as we can, but we will still be in a very low inventory uh, situation by the time we get through this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.